guys, welcome back. Eric Johnson here. Today I am with Kevin Jones and Josh Schley, uh, two aircraft mechanics that are doing a 12, 24 month inspection on this Falcon 50. And we are going to kind of give you guys a tour as far as what it entails to get this inspection done. They've already got the airplane kind of taken apart. And you see very, uh, very, very sections of the, of the aircraft that are that they've already begun inspecting. And let's turn it over to these guys. Kevin, let's go and start with you. How long have you been an aircraft mechanic? About 13 years. Okay. Not 13 days? Well, give or take. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> now, when did I get my license? Yeah. Yesterday. <laughs> You're going to have to do a lot of editing. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> they got from bloopers reels, huh? <laughs> How about you, Josh? How long have you been a uh, An equal 13 years. Really? Mm -hmm. No kidding. Mm -hmm. No brothers? No brothers. <laughs> Although we we have there. worked together almost the entire thirteen years. No through. kidding. Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't know how many different places. That's cool. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, Kevin, we'll start with you. That way, Josh can get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, uh, go and show so, me what you guys have been doing so far. Kind of let's just walk around and kind of show me what's going on. Okay. Um, well, the twelve and twenty-four month has us do a lot of greasing on different parts of the airplane slats and the mechanism in there will get greased. The aileron control rods, which run just behind the leading edges, will get greased. Over there and kind of check them out. So these are the leading edge slats. Right, you got droop leading edges, but Falcon calls them slats. Um, so underneath, we'll, uh, <coughs> we'll lube all the, all, the, uh, all the tracks. This rod, up in here is the aileron control and so every one of these little ball bearing sleeves will get cleaned and re-greased. That's for the ailerons? That's for the ailerons. Interesting. And you don't have cables running through the wing, you've got these push-pull tubes. Really? So pretty minimal for as far as flight control cables on this airplane. Are the ailerons, are the controls boosted on this hydraulics? They're purely hydraulic. Oh really? Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's flies light, light on the on the controls then? You've got uh, you've got feedback. It gives you hydraulic feedback to oh, the, to cool. the yoke and to the pedals. Okay. And then we got while we're under here, we got the flaps down. Yeah, the flaps are down. Uh, we've got to clean and re grease the jack screws and the ball joints inside. Um, the rollers, which they made a nightmare to grease because you got to go up in through here and get to the Greaser that's way back in there. Really? Um, now on top of the wing root, the panel was off up there. Let's go yeah. look at that. It's, I saw some wiring harnesses up there. Yeah. Well, we have this off for another inspection. Inside here, there's a bolt in every one of these. We call them bathtubs. But uh, those are wing bolt recesses. So that is how this wing is bolted onto the center section is every single one of those bathtubs, there's a bolt inside of it. All the way down. And so we need to inspect every bathtub because they'll fill up with water. And you check it for corrosion? Mm -hmm. Okay. Check it for corrosion. And you have to apply a uh, corrosion protective scheme over the whole thing. Every time you do the inspection? Uh, Basically, yes, but there was an old style of these bathtubs which filled them. And I haven't actually ever seen it. Most of them have been done by now, but now it's a you clean all that stuff out and then add, uh, add uh, corrosion preventative in a couple different layers. What do you have to do to these? Uh, lube. So there's a grease cert there. You need to lube the hinges. And basically, we're checking for any sort of leaks. Perfect. Engine cowls are open. We had a brush wear inspection on the starter generators. A brush wear is, where's the generator? Right there? Yeah, this okay. is a starter generator, so it either is the starter or it is the generator. Oh, it depends gotcha. on, on, you know, what mode you're in, <laughs> basically. <laughs> and uh, so carbon brushes inside, and every so often they get check for wear. Now explain some of these other accessories to me. Okay. Uh, gearbox, which basically drives, this is the fuel pump. 
for the engine and this is the fuel control for the engine. This does all the fuel scheduling for where your throttle is at. Um, this is a transfer gearbox which just sends power off the turbine into the accessory gearbox. Um, that is fuel oil cooler. And over here is oil tank, oil reservoir. This is engine filter, engine oil filter. Sorry. Um, I've got fuel flow. That is what gives you the cockpit indication as far as what uh, how much fuel you're burning per hour. That's cool. Looks like all gibberish to me, but it's neat to <laughs> it's neat to learn what it is, what all it does. So this is a three holder, which means it's got three engines. Yep. Which is pretty cool on the Falcons. And is that the APU? The APU is back here. World War II replacement. Well, that, it putt putt. Well, there's the APU. Well, here's the APU. Yeah. Okay. And so these are the ECUs, uh, environmental control units. So that's basically where you get your air conditioning. Gotcha. So they're not free on machines; they're air cycle machines. You, you basically it's got a turbo. It's basically a turbo. That's all it is. It compresses the air, cools the air, then depressurizes the air, and that's when you depressurize a compressed gas, it gets cold, and that's how you get the air conditioning in these. That's a hydraulic tank up there. Right. System two there and system one here. Oh, interesting. And that's the tube for the exhaust for the number two engine, which is the that's one in the middle. Number two intake. That's intake. Yeah. Of oh, the jet spec. I yeah, the that. whole engine is. I knew that. Way back there. So they call that the S duct, and we've got a hatch right here. I can open that. Yeah, go on. If you don't mind. <coughs> so it's just so, so tight and cramped in there, I might have you do that. <laughs> <laughs> so that way you can inspect the uh, first eight of legs. Right. Which is part of our pre flight. You know, we, we open up this hatch and look. Open up this hatch and look in, and uh, there's number two inlet. And then I don't know if you're able to see it, but that's the duct. It goes all the way up. Thanks for opening that. Oh yeah, no problem. It's easy. I have to look in there anyway. <laughs> So this is the number two engine. Right. Mounting setups are different. This engine basically hangs from the top. Really? Those engines are hung from the sides where their mounting points are, but otherwise they're just, and that's just uh, components that I would install in, in different places. Now up here, that's where the uh, TR, so it's thruster version for the one right? Yeah, this one, the Falcon 50 only has one thruster version. We have the doors off because uh, part of the 24 month inspection is to uh, um, do a dive penetrant check on the fittings to make sure they're not cracked. That's a NDT? Right. Non destructive testing, right? right? Okay. All the same stuff as the other ones. Now, what's in these panels down here? Uh, a lot of this is hydraulic equipment and or fuel. Um, I've got fuel selectors here. Um, that would shut off fuel to the number two engine, and um, uh, let's see. So I've got some hot air ducting, and that goes will go forward, and so I'll get uh, my leading edge de-icing. And then on the outboard side, I've got a whole bunch of solenoid valves. Some of them do air brakes to pop the air brakes up. Some of them um, do. Um, emergency slats so whatever configuration the airplane is in I can select emergency slats and it would actuate a, a solenoid up in here and direct hydraulic fluid to wherever it's needed on the plane. So the the de-icing on this is done from what hot bleed air from the engines? Yeah, it's not de the, the, the difference between de-icing and anti-icing this is anti if I said de-icing I was misspoke it's anti-icing anti -icing. because okay. it's because it's kept at a kept warm all the time as opposed to de-icing which the boots inflate, break off the ice. Gotcha. This never allows ice to form. Gotcha. Okay. Interesting. 
and you've got anti-icing on the inlet of each engine so it keeps the uh and that's for the pre that's for the single point refueling right and right above you is your uh gpu ground power and then i've got i can run a mule hydraulic mule to either hydraulic system two one or two is that for, for like gear, gear swings, gear swings and and like that? if i need okay. to run the flight controls with full pressure the i've got an aux pump that i can select for either system but i can't get full pressure on it nor full flow gotcha now the flaps and the leading edge slices are electric uh no they're hydraulic hydraulic as well everything i don't have anything electric surface wise except for the uh stab actuator is electric okay Oh, got gotcha. For my stab trim. And that's all, is that a screw jack system on yes. that? Okay, for the trim? Right. Okay. Interesting. And we've got to do some inspections on that too, so I'll have that panel off here nice. pretty soon. Is there, anything, uh, is there anything that you guys are planning to doing now or planning on doing on the interior when you support the inspection? Not really. I've got some, um, I've got some interior squawks I need to fix, um, but not per inspection do I need to get into the floor or anything. This is mostly exterior stuff that you right. got to... Gain access to right, right. Okay. systems checks kind of cool. kind of thing. Well, there you have it, guys. That's day number one of the inspection. Well, day number one of filming. These guys have been hard at it for a few days, as you can tell. So we'll keep you guys updated. And thanks for watching. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and say bye to Kevin. Bye, Kevin. <laughs>